Hey guys, I miss seeing you. I hope you're all doing well and healthy during this crazy time. I find I'm spending a little bit more time at home, doing some cleaning, which I should be doing anyway, and going for some nice long walks and enjoying nature. Today, I thought we would paint a lion. I know some of you have already painted the lion, so it's a repeat lesson, but this photo is a little bit different. And I would love to give a special shout out to Joan for sharing this photo from her recent trip to Africa. So hope you enjoy. I like to begin by taping off the area of my painting. For this painting, I'm using 300 pound paper on a block. I begin by drawing with a 2H pencil. For a demonstration, I'll draw right on my paper, but you may want to draw on a separate piece of paper and then transfer your drawing over to your watercolor paper. In this painting, I'm going to use just a little bit of masking fluid for the highlights in the eyes. For this painting, I'm going to use a very limited palette. I'm going to use some yellow okra, and if you don't have that, raw sienna is just fine. I'm going to use some burnt sienna and ultramarine. And then I'll give my painting a hint of quinacridone gold. Let's start off by painting the eyes with a wash of yellow okra, then at the top add a little bit of burnt sienna. I use a combination of ultramarine blue along with burnt sienna to get the dark line of the upper lid. Since I don't have access to my blow dryer, I'm going to work around different areas. Using the same combination of ultramarine blue with burnt sienna, a little bit more ultramarine for a grayer look, I add a touch of pink into the nose and let it just blend together. Start with a light wash of yellow okra. Try to keep the edges loose and soft. Then add a combination of burnt sienna along with ultramarine blue, which will give you a nice gray. Let your brush strokes move and flow in the direction of the fur. To create the shape of the face, work the inner edges of the mane.
I use negative space painting and dry brush to paint the clusters of fur. I'm using my favorite combination of ultramarine blue and burnt sienna, though purple would have been a nice addition too. I'm just picking away at the subtle details and value shifts, which will help round the form. I didn't mask off or paint around for the whiskers, so I'm going to use a little bit of white gouache in order to get those. My favorite part is taking off the masking and the eyes. They really come to life. All done! Thanks for watching!